The primary motivation behind Disney's potential sale of ABC, its owned affiliates, linear cable networks and a minority stake in ESPN is not solely driven by the financial gain from these assets. Instead, it serves as a strategic signal to investors that it's time to change their perception of Disney from an old media company. Hi everyone, this is Zaki with The Money Channel. While Disney's market capitalization stands at approximately $156 billion and the company company carries around $45 billion in debt, divesting these assets would indeed help in reducing its leverage ratio. The proceeds from the sale could also potentially support Disney's anticipated acquisition of Comcast's minority stake in Hulu. However, the main reason behind Disney CEO Bob Iger's contemplation of selling these media assets, which he had resisted for a long time, is to convey a clear message to the investment community that the era of traditional television is drawing to a close, and Disney is prepared for its next phase. Streaming represents Disney's future and is one of its most valuable assets, second only to its theme parks. The traditional linear business, on the other hand, is clearly on a path of decline, and Disney isn't necessarily intent on protecting it. If they can transfer some of this lower performing negative growth business to a more suitable operator, they are open to that possibility. And with that, Nexstar has initiated initial discussions with Disney regarding the potential acquisition of ABC and its owned and operated affiliates, as reported by Bloomberg. Media tycoon Byron Allen has also made an initial offer to acquire ABC and its affiliates, along with cable networks FX and National Geographic, for a sum of $10 billion according to a source familiar with the situation. Though to be clear, nothing is greenlit yet, with Disney stating, while we are open to considering a variety of strategic options for our linear businesses, at this time the Walt Disney Company has has made no decision with respect to the divestiture of ABC or any other property and any report to that effect is unfounded. The value of broadcast and cable networks has seen a significant decline compared to the booming years of the 1990s or early 2000s, largely due to the recent trend of millions of Americans cancelling their cable subscriptions. Wells Fargo's assessment places a value of approximately $4.5 billion on ABC and Disney's eight owned affiliate networks. A stark contrast to the hefty $19 billion Disney shelled out for Capital Cities ABC in 1995, which marked Bob Iger's entry into the company. Market analysts currently estimate ESPN's net worth to fall within the range of $20 to $30 billion. Disney's preference is to maintain a majority stake in ESPN, as Bob Iger mentioned in his CNBC interview. Presently, Disney holds an 80% ownership share in the sports media business, with her owning the remaining 20%. Approximately a decade ago, analysts had pegged ESPN's value at around $50 billion, illustrating the notable shift in its valuation over time. One of Disney's most intriguing choices lies in its decision regarding the ABC network. Disney has the option to readily sell its eight owned and operated affiliate stations strategically positioned in key markets such as Chicago, New York, and Los Angeles, without significantly altering the course of the media industry. Industry. However, relinquishing control of the ABC network would constitute a bold declaration by Disney, signaling its belief in an uncertain future for traditional broadcast cable content distribution. The sale of ABC would be particularly striking given Bob Iger's recent statements on CNBC and during Disney's latest earnings conference call, expressing his desire for the company to maintain a presence in the sports business. There's evident value, at least in the foreseeable future, in retaining a significant broadcast network, especially for major sports leagues, NBC Universal executives are banking on their ownership of the NBC network to persuade the NBA to consider a fresh rights agreement for broadcasting NBA games. NBC status as a free over-the-air service can potentially expand the league's viewership, a point they plan to emphasize. Even as the world transitions to streaming, millions of Americans continue to rely on digital antennas for TV viewing. Currently, sports rights are divided between ESPN and ABC. The sale of ABC may activate specific change of control provisions, which could necessitate the renegotiation of existing agreements with pay TV operators or the sports leagues. This being based on information from individuals familiar with the customary terms surrounding such deals. Parting ways with the network could potentially impede ESPN's prospects of securing upcoming sports rights agreements. The absence of ABC's ownership might lead sports leagues to 
swapped for other companies as their rights holders, potentially diminishing ESPN's standing in this regard. If Bob Iger remains committed to his statement on Disney's continued involvement in sports broadcasting, the company will have to carefully consider the adverse consequences of relinquishing ABC against the benefits of demonstrating a strong commitment to divesting declining assets to investors. That said, should Disney successfully secure a deal to sell ABC, and should investors respond positively to this development, it could serve as a catalyst for other major legacy media corporations to consider divesting their struggling assets. Companies such as NBC Universal, Paramount Global, and Warner Bros. Discovery all possess legacy broadcast and cable networks alongside their flagship streaming services.